Hi guys, welcome back to Michai TV, the channel for all of your business communications technology needs. Today, we're gonna to be considering the fact that BT are turning off the PSTN network in 2025. So what do you do about that? So we're gonna be considering what is SIP and what are the benefits over the old technology. Let's get to it. Welcome back. So BT announced a few years ago that they were going to turn off the public switch telephone network, or PSTN for short, in 2025. That put a rocket up the industry rear to get businesses and consumers migrated over to newer technologies that have been proven. That technology is called SIP, or VoIP, or making calls over the internet. So first of all, what is essential for SIP? Or rather, what is essential for making calls over an internet connection? You guessed it, the internet connection itself. If I cast my line back 10 years, SIP was readily available, and even sooner than that, but the connectivity simply wasn't there for a wide range of businesses. Today, in 2020, we've got fiber to the cabinet that is penetrated into a large range of the country. We've got fiber to the premises and ethernet services, all very suitable for making calls over. Focusing a little bit more on businesses, the second essential thing for SIP to work is a solid and well-managed local area network. What I mean by that is that if someone is downloading a file within your organization and taking up all of the bandwidth, you don't want that to impact on the telephone calls that some of your colleagues are making at the same time. So you've got a solid internet connection and a well-managed local area network. You're ready to enjoy the benefits of SIP trunks. And what are the benefits? First benefit, it's cheaper, yay! Traditionally, SIP trunking is about 40% cheaper than traditional ISDN. Great news for businesses. Second benefit, it's highly scalable. What do I mean by that? So traditionally, if you required another couple of lines, let's say for ISDN, you'd have to wait two or three weeks in order to get a BT engineer out to install those for you, and then perhaps dovetail that with an engineer for your phone system to connect them up to your phone system. You might even have to buy more equipment for it. With SIP, as long as you've got the bandwidth there, we talked about that a little bit earlier, if you want to increase your number of channels, the number of calls that you can make at any given time, a quick call into your service provider, they should be able to get that activated within a couple of days. So third tangible benefit of SIP, that's flexibility. What do I mean by that? So traditionally with ISDN or analog telephone lines, you'd have them installed and the telephone number that you were given was pertinent to the telephone exchange that you connected to. That's not the case with SIP. Those numbers are ported out to your telephone provider's network and they will deliver those calls over SIP trunks wherever you are in the country or indeed the world. So if you've got an internet connection and your telephone install, telephone system installed in Manchester, you could quite easily have your London or Birmingham or Glasgow numbers delivered into that telephone system in Manchester, giving you an awful lot more flexibility. Okay, so fourth tangible benefit of SIP, that's business continuity. Traditionally with ISDN and analog lines, if you were to have a fault or can't access the building or you need your calls diverted, you would only be able to do that to one other number. We've seen a lot of this in COVID with businesses that haven't migrated to the new technology, causing them real issues. With SIP, you can migrate all of the telephone calls to another internet connection or indeed all of the telephone numbers, all of the DDIs for example, divert them to different mobiles for example, or different areas, whatever needs to be done. It's an awful lot more flexible. Indeed, for a small premium, you can even get your auto attendance, voicemail, call queuing, things like that done in the cloud rather than at a telephone system level. Fifth tangible benefit, this one comes with a few pitfalls though, call quality. The call quality on SIP is equivalent to that on ISDN. But you must be careful, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in terms of internet connectivity. Okay, so I'm gonna mention a pitfall here, something to look out for if you're making the move to SIP. If your internet connectivity is bad, as will your telephone calls. So make sure that you're buying off your service provider a quality broadband or ethernet service which has got quality of service guarantee. What do I mean by that? Is that the router and the local network is gonna be managed by them, 
very cleverly and smartly to make sure that those telephone calls are given the utmost priority over your internet connection. For after all, when you're making a telephone call, that is real time. It needs bandwidth there and then. If you're downloading an email or accessing a web page, for example, you can wait a couple of seconds for that to come through. So as I mentioned before, one of the benefits of SIP is that the call quality is great, but that is essential that your internet connectivity is well looked after and of good quality of service. So in conclusion, there are lots of benefits over SIP, but there's a few pitfalls that you should look out for, such as internet. Much of the UK has already made the migration from traditional ISDN or analog telephone lines over to SIP trunking and many many more will do so as we approach the deadline to 2025. So don't be caught out. If you would like to talk to us please do so. Our number is 08000 322 322. I really hope you enjoy this video. Do give it a like if you could. Subscribe to the channel to get more industry insight product reviews and more training videos as well. I just is doing a splendid job on that. Okay, thanks for watching and don't forget, we are the business communications experts.